Hello. Uh, before we begin with this second devlog, I'd just like to say that Mr. Figs is available to wishlist on Steam. So if you like any of the clips that are currently playing, feel free to wishlist it. Uh, the links are in the description below. Cheers. One of the things I worked on after finishing the first devlog last month was to add the remaining pushing images slash animations to Mr. Figs when he's pushing rocks. Uh, it used to be that there was just left and right and if you were pushing it up and down, it would show a left and right sprite, which was a bit strange. Uh, it was just something I never got around to, and I finally got around to adding some placeholder sprites for both up and down. The next thing I wanted to spend some time on was animating the rolling balls. Again, in the last devlog, there was no animation, it was just a static image, but now I've added in animations for left, right, up and down, and then when it hits the solid, it just goes back to its normal state. As you can see here, it's moving on all axes. The rolling balls were one of the things that got the most attention this month, so I'll be diving into a few more things that you can see here. Uh, one of the changes was to allow rolling balls to push other rolling balls. Again, with the mechanic of pushing a rolling ball into a rolling ball, it sort of opens up a lot of new mechanics and level design ideas, so that's why that's been incorporated. And here I'm just sort of demonstrating that they stop on solid successfully. The final part of the rolling ball saga is an expansion to them called Directional Changes. Uh, in this case it's an arrow which changes the velocity of the rolling ball. As you can see here I pushed it in and now it's constantly doing circles. This opens up a lot of interesting level ideas and subsequently I've been able to squeeze another three or four levels out of this because of that. With the rolling ball stuff out of the way we can get to the fun stuff. I've spent a lot of time this month on the second area. Uh, in particular I've added ice, which is a sliding mechanic, so basically you cannot control figs until he reaches a non-sliding tile. This applies to rocks as well, and basically anything that I give a certain flag to. I made a small addition to the portals. A portal can now be blocked. As you can see here it's not animating and it's not functioning. This is because the corresponding portal that it's linked to is actually blocked by a bush. So the solution here is to grab a bomb, and then explode the bush, and then the portal will then become functioning again. So now the animations are back, the portal is functioning, just wait for those spikes to go down and we can get out. I've also spent quite a lot of time working on new enemies and hazards. One of these is a fist. Uh, the fist has a three tile range, and if entered into, it will just fly out towards you. It will then reset back to its original position. Again, this is quite a fun and interesting mechanic, and I imagine I can squeeze a good few levels out of this, as well as the subsequent ideas that I'm about to show you. Another new hazard I've been working on is this gelatinous blob. It moves in a given velocity and a given speed n tiles. Sounds more confusing than it is, but basically it can move any velocity you give it, so up, down, left, right, and then that amount of tiles at that amount of speed. So here you can see they're moving just left and right at a certain speed. The ones below are moving at a faster rate but still left and right. And there's some ones here that I'm just walking to which just go consistently in a circle. The last and perhaps most interesting mechanic, at least to me, are these chasing squares, for want of a better name. They have a five tile range and when you step within this range they will travel in that direction until they hit a solid. Here you can see it's just hit another one of themselves and here's me triggering it to travel to the left. They also have support to go into portals, which opens up again more level ideas, so it'll be fun to play with this one once I've established the mechanic a bit more. A consideration or mechanic that's not in this clip is the fact that these will also stop at rocks, so you could push rocks and sort of manufacture this chasing squares movement to your will. And finally for this devlog, I spent a bit of time working on the third area. One of the new mechanics I've added here is some TNT, and how this works is that once you blow it up, it blows up all adjacent TNT boxes as you can see here. Another interesting thing about the TNT, as you can see, is that it's pushable. This means that we can form links to otherwise isolated islands of TNT, which then enables one bomb to trigger all of the TNT. I'd like to thank you again for watching this devlog. Um, there'll be more to come, and again, if you liked Mr. Figs or what you see here, then don't forget to wishlist it on Steam. It's the only metric I'm really going off, so any of that sort of helps. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.